Cookies. Cookies. That's not enough. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Howdy. Welcome back to the live. We haven't done a live show in weeks. I had a baby. This is Kevin. <laughs> it's not my baby. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm a little too old to be a baby. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Um. This is the deal. Because I know it takes people like a minute to join the live. So let's wait a second here. But Kevin is joining us today. I'll go over this a couple times. Kevin. I don't need multiple introductions. Bought my Mercedes A-Class. Unfortunately. <laughs> Very <laughs> At unfortunately. At least he has his eyes wide open. For yeah. all of us, you're a hero. <laughs> I mean, it'll be a fun especially story. Me. Especially him. It's going to be a fun story. It's going to be a fun trip. And, you know, someone has to be a, a caretaker for it, you know. You know, as, uh, as Jay Leno always says, you know, you don't own a car, you know, or whatever, whatever he says. <laughs> no, with an A-class, I think. Okay, so look, oh, this Kevin Kevin is from Houston, Texas. He's here today in San Diego because he's going to, after the show, he's going to pick up my A-class and then drive it home to Houston, Texas, which is insane. I mean, that's truly insane. And so we have a lot to discuss. <laughs> so, Kevin, please start off with why you wanted to buy a Mercedes A-class. So I didn't actually want to buy it. Um, I, I just kind of bid on it. You know, if you look, if you look at, you know, my bid history, it's, it's just me bidding on things that I, I don't actually want to buy. I just, you know, I like the thrill of the rush. It's, it's kind of like you? gambling. You know, you don't know if you're going to win it. Right. So right up until the moment you do. Yeah. And, right no, and no one bid. It just ended. It just it, like n nothing happened because I'm so used to like following it. And then, you know. Oh, you know, people start like bidding it up. I thought someone would give you like here are other back. cars that Kevin has been on. TVR Tuscan Speed Six, yes, very different vehicle. What were you thinking on that one? You were um, <laughs> so there was a moment where I, well, I think they're very undervalued. Yeah, I agree. And, with that. and so I thought maybe it could be worth buying it, holding on to it, uh, and just stashing it away in like some decrepit. You were going to try to store corner. it in Canada. Store it in Canada <laughs> and then bring it in in a couple of years. Uh, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, I, I was a little concerned because there was no history and it looked like someone like glued the, uh, the, the coil packs in. Um, but that's probably OE. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Guaranteed yes, but they, they yeah. explode. And I, I didn't feel confident enough in that. I mean, it's a great color combo. Oh. Yeah. It's beautiful. Like, I, I truly think that. Was it you the know. cigars that had the exhaust that exited out the side? Like it like came out to the back and then went out the side? I think it I was. Think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. the, and then the T350, T400, yeah. which is like the smaller one. Like they had three different sizes back then. Which even though they were all like the same power, it's, it never, yeah, never made any power. sense to me or anybody else. But you, you bid three times on a BMW X5 4.8 IS. I, I have bid on multiple of those on multiple different sites <laughs> and I probably will buy one soon. Those are cool. Soon. Those are I, I just like, I remember like growing up and like my friends parents yep. had those and they've got the air suspension and then also that Catherine Tate skit where they all like run into the uh the, the line of silver x5s uh <laughs> with the with the eggs oh it's it's a great uh it's a great clip but what um what were you thinking on this s350 blue tech <clears throat> uh i mean it's a w221 so right so you knew it was going to be cheap yeah, it would be cheap in either I think that's the most comfortable Mercedes ever made. That is what I, you know, it was either X5 or that, but somehow I ended up with, up with an A-class. Class. Yeah, you um, bit on what you think is the most comfortable Mercedes ever made, and you ended up <laughs> with, the, the, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't go anywhere, so this is probably a better use case. I told him on the way here that the, the A-Class is the perfect car for someone who doesn't go anywhere. As I was buried <laughs> under my luggage in the Ford GT, that was... Um, <laughs> right, that's also uh, not a practical car. Terrifying. So you've now got this A-Class. Uh, oh, I have a present for you. Oh. I have an A-Class present for you. The man who imported the A-Class for me, his name's Rami, he's a good friend, and he's great. He sent me yesterday, oh, very God. timely, by the way. I've sold the car, Rami. Thank you. He sent me this, which is a Mercedes A-Class set of tea cups or espresso cups. Or whatever. <laughs> now, can, can y'all... <laughs> hold on, wait, which camera? I don't know how to do it, but which? there's an A-Class on them. Go to the camera that I'm at here. Oh, there's an A-Class in them. Now, you're thinking, did he make these for you? No, flip them over. This is a Mercedes-Benz factory made set of this is wow. impressive and so he sent this to me and i've decided i'm going to give you one and i'm going to keep the other that and then we great. will always be that joined <laughs> so, so we will have our, our morning uh cortados together and uh just and, and remember and the a class and of course i will be remembering the a class <laughs> it's, you it's unfortunately the same color it is it's, it's the same color same exact everything it doesn't wow. have alloys mine doesn't or yours now well 
so I'm, I'm going to up badge it to an avant-garde. Um, <laughs> we, we, I briefly mentioned this like before the live stream, but I, I, I'm not a fan of up badging, but, but I do think it deserves an up badge. And I mean, from, from what I can tell, it's just painted mirror caps and... Are you going to do the painted uh, mirror caps? I think it's, yeah, I think it's just the mirror caps. I don't know mirror that caps? it says it anywhere Yeah, else. it's just yeah. mirror caps, right? So oh, you mean the avant-garde? What did it? What did the avant-garde oh, actually add? do? Yeah. Oh, I have no well, the idea. avant-garde I think had alloys, and there was a big sunroof. So these alloys, right? Yeah, I think these alloys. And, and there I was a take a saws all to it. You know, there was a big sunroof. You might as well. <laughs> <laughs> there was a big sunroof that was, I think, fabric or either way, it like opened. It wasn't oh, glass, Basto. but it could open, mm-hmm. and you could like stick out your head out the top, like in the Jurassic Park films. <laughs> Mm. Well, that's outstanding. We'll I, I can't believe. Well, that well you thank you for the president. I I will absolutely use this and display it on my um, <laughs> bookshelf with my other. I really I actually that. do collect this stuff. So this is like actually a, a great president. So <laughs> well, I uh, wonder what series of like marketing meetings had to occur with it. Like, you know what would be a good idea if we put the A class in a teacup? I guarantee well, you, <laughs> this was from the launch, the press launch of the journalists, and this was how they tried to buy the journalists off into giving them a good review. Yeah, they tea, gave them espresso and and some cups. journalist who's now cleaning out his closet. <laughs> <laughs> and has no money who's in Belgium is like, I'm just going to sell these A-class well, teacups. <laughs> do they swipe these or were they given it in like I the, bet the they were. They usually or? give you at the car launches, they give you some present that you would never want. Mm. It's like a Lego version of the car or like a towel that's People made of the same that, fabric though. as the seats or some dumb. I want that. <laughs> well, I'll give you all of mine. <laughs> it's a lot of crap. The hand towels. You should bring them here. So one auto, one press event that's I went a, to, they made a, a donation. Yeah, Kevin, yeah, that's a great. That would be good. Bring them here. The, the one I like, I have the from when I went to the Ford GT launch, they gave me a little model of the Ford GT. That was kind of cool. That's cool. Mm-hmm. The new the seventeen one. Mm-hmm. I think Harry Metcalf said, like, I know they gave them out later, but I think uh, the journalists were given engines of the Carrera GT at the launch. Until I have a oh. GT five hundred engine from when I went to that launch. Yeah, that's oh, cool. I think one of my friends has the Carrera GT engine. Uh, Mateo, if you're watching, I don't know. Throw in the chat. Oh, yeah. So he. Oh, the chat! I forgot. I can go in the chat. So he has one of these engines. So he you know, buys this incredible car, and um, the the dealer who sold it to him gave him one of these engines mm-hmm. in the original like plastic and stuff like that. And he's like, "Oh, this is so cool! I've been looking for one of these. I finally have it." Right. We go into the house. He turns the corner. I hear a sudden crash, and I'm like, oh, no. "What was that?" He's like, "You." He just starts maniacally laughing. He's like, "I dropped the engine." I broke it. I had it for three minutes. Three minutes. But you know what? I like it better broken because it's like a good it has story. A story now. Yeah. And it's it's worn in. It's used. You're yeah. not afraid of you just know, like the engine in the car. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tell us about. I want to know two things. First off, what cars do you own currently that you would want to add an A class to your fleet? Uh, so currently, the car that I drive the most is my B5.5 Passat station wagon. It's a GLX front-wheel drive Tiptronic that I bought from the estate of the original owner. Uh, it's a phenomenal car. Best car I've ever owned. Best car GLX I've ever was the top trim. Yeah. He's legit. Yeah, and the V6. A lot of them were turbo four cylinders. Yeah, it's, it's not you. Really great. No, 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 no. V6, V6. It's it's smooth. It's effortless. It's it wafts on the highway. It's like a Buick, but it actually it, it reminds me of like the old Volvo P2 chassis, except you can actually turn it around in a parking lot, <laughs> uh, which is exactly what I want. Right. So uh, that's that's the main driver, and then I also have a 2015 Audi S3 that may be for sale on cars Ooh. and bids soon Ooh. because. Um, because you've got the A class, yeah. Replace the S3. You don't I, I have to. Anymore. I have to liquidate a little bit of money and kind of make this make sense. And you know, one in, one out. <laughs> it so. Makes sense to all of us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so you have an S3 and a Passat, and now an A class. And then I also have a 1988 Audi 5000 Calgary Olympic Special Edition. Oh. oh. Um, <laughs> what, is, what is involved with the special edition? It, it has a sticker on the side, and it has heated roof seats. Um, but I think that's like standard for the. Canadian, CS, Canadian market, yeah. market, so. So it's just like cosmetics. Yeah, I think it's just cosmetics, and it's like one of 99 or something. But oh. it, it does not work at all, and I, I don't know where to find parts. And right. I, you know, it's, it's kind of <laughs> sitting until, you know, someone else takes care of it, or I eventually become stupid enough to actually try to pursue it, yeah, yeah, fixing yeah. it. Yeah. So, wow. four cars. I can't believe you all would All terrible. Add, you would but finally class. something not Volkswagen. So, right. this, is, this is good. Right. This is really good. It's, it's and the uh, other bids were not Volkswagens. You're ready to jump out of no, the Volkswagen no, no, group. No, yeah, I'm, well, no, I, I like them. E- even though they're, they're going downhill, but the PA Gara still holds like a... Like I agree. Just, what about a Phaeton? Why don't you have a Phaeton? Uh, I, I'd rather get a uh, A8 D3. So I, I like those. Yeah, the, the aluminum one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are cool. We yeah. reviewed a W12 together. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. so nice. Drive, that car was just 
sumptuous. If I could perfect. find an 08 or 09 in like half decent condition, I would absolutely buy they're it. They're all ratty though. They, they're it, all in rough shape. Well, it, yeah. If you can even find one. Yeah. So, I mean, they pop up on Facebook Marketplace, but mm, no, no, no. Those are, those are <laughs> yeah. cars. Those are, those are <laughs> just, parts cars. Just sagging to one side. <laughs> no bumper. All the, the like trim pieces under the bumper because Audi puts like 15 different right. layers of plastic under there. It's, it's gone. So. Yeah. It's just such a great study. Those cars are made by the same people in the same factory at the same time, and boy, they end up in different places. Yeah, yeah. that's so true. Although both of those, the Phaeton and the A8 are both cheap cars now that very although they're wonderful i mean i love them but mm -hmm. um okay so that's question number one is what else you what question number two that i have for you is what are your plans for the a class uh so i'm picking it up here yeah. and i'm driving up to la tonight to see some of my friends and then i'll do a little road trip back to texas and you're gonna drive this thing back to houston texas yes, on you know it's got 80 horsepower yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something it's like plenty. that. It's plenty. <laughs> I, I will just keep my foot to the floor, and we will see how fast it can go. The Germans never intended when they designed this car that it would be uh, like on an American road trip. It's like, uh, like well, you're probably the first person in North America to do a road trip. Yes, in absolutely. Well, I, maybe there's like some crazy German. You know, they, they yeah, get the motorcycles, like cars, the BMW yeah. GSs, but maybe not an A-class. Um, yeah, so it's, it's going to go on a road trip, and then I'll use it just to commute. I work from home, so it, I don't really need a car. Um, so this is a great, I guess. Car. When I had it, the only people who would notice it and would come up to me were Europeans. Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh, I've never seen one of these. Or, oh, my grandma has one of these in Italy. Mm -hmm. like, and I heard that like four times from people. And it's like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of Europeans in my neighborhood. And so maybe it'll bring a little bit Be of Be like, eh? Yeah. Eh? It's like the only like urban area of Texas. So, <laughs> you know, there's there's a lot of old diesel Mercedes and there's a couple Mercedes specialists like just within walking distance. So I'll, you know, I don't off. think you will have that much trouble. If you can get back to Houston, I don't think you'll have that much trouble servicing it. I don't think anything's going to go wrong with it. It's in nice you, shape. You did We've done a lot. We it. did a ton of stuff you to did it. did everything to it. And so. once you get it to your show, especially because you're not going to rely on it, mm -hmm. they made a literal million of them. Mm -hmm. it, parts are around. They're just... Sometimes it's going to take a week or two to get them because they're coming from Europe or Australia or whatever. I'm not in a rush. Right. I, I won't be in a rush. <laughs> and that's the attitude you have to, have to have with an egg. <laughs> you know, it, it may never see another wheel change again. You know? <laughs> right. You know? <laughs> if it's lucky. And if you are. <laughs> <laughs> your declared value back out yeah. of it crash it but but i will be bringing it to radwood in austin so if anyone wants to buy it from me i mean i haven't driven it yet so I, i'm just looking at <laughs> it trying to, it's a, trying to move it on but he's I, looked yeah, at it no. and he's like i'm gonna want to sell yeah, this thing I, I, I it's temporary you know right we'll, 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 I see. Get it. we'll see we'll see i get it it was temporary for me um wow boy, boy was it the a class boy was it mm -hmm. kenan what were your thoughts on the a class squidgy the whole Which car is like squidgy. The shifter doesn't have like any field. The suspension's really soft. It's like it's, so a it's squidgy basically little. a 221 S class, right? No, it's not Dude. that squidgy. Yeah. He, he's never driven anything that isn't a sports car. <laughs> he doesn't. True. I don't think it's that squidgy. I think you're gonna get in and be like, this isn't so bad. Well, he has an E39 M5. Those are pretty squidgy. It's so this is really, really actually squishy. squishy. Okay. But it is it is so cute. I think it's like it's such a cute looking little car. That's the main appeal of it is the way it looks. And it is like it is a sweet baby baby Mercedes. I also think the wheels on the like hubcaps are awesome. They're they're, they're really Mercedes nice. Stars, I, I like, think that I, I have cool. to take them off just to make sure they don't fly off when I'm going 95 miles. <laughs> well, an I'll hour. tell you, uh, with the full because we had to buy a full set of four, with and wind. it was like 60 bucks. <laughs> so oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so they, they still make them. They still make them. Absolutely, those are brand new. And even if you lose them, I think you'll be okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. it's like 18 bucks a hubcap. Or that's, not, that's not bad. Right. Well, did you did you put them on in Europe or did you have to ship them when we? Bought the car. It had all four of them on from the original mm. owner. Oh, yeah, And when yeah. it arrived, someone at the port had stolen them. And it arrived with only either one or two. And so we just decided to buy a full new set of four since it was 18 bucks a hubcap. We figured we could... Might as well. We could do that expense. Might as well. We could handle that. Um, but I'm well, happy for you. I hope you have many fun adventures with it and talk to many Europeans. I, I hope That's so. <laughs> I hope so. We'll, oh, we'll see. And uh, of course, the, the important ceremony. This is the title. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's yours. We got to write a bill of sale. <laughs> but you have a napkin. <laughs> Just a handwritten bill of sale. This is the I state of... I type one up uh, before I came, but I only printed out my work. We will stuff. handwrite one, and it'll, <clears throat> it'll be perfect. Perfect. This is the state of Massachusetts title. 
and I'm going to sign it right here. I'm going to leave the sale price line blank. You put whatever you want. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't tell anybody Absolutely. That. Uh, State of Texas, you are not watching if anyone looks at Texas DPS. <laughs> right. No, you're not. Right. We don't know. No. And this is the end. Signature of seller. Oh, what a happy moment. No, I'm kidding. I've actually enjoyed this car. You really did no, not you didn't. To be honest. sound like you did. The first... Um, he did not. The first Trust 15 yeah, minutes I don't on Nantucket, that. it didn't move. The first 15 <laughs> minutes were really a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't stop talking about those. Between that and the Audi A2 was what he really... I really wanted an A2, but well, I didn't want so really I, yeah. That's also the one that I would have rather bought from you. So I'm, I'm a little sad that you didn't wait like one more year. It would have been one more um, year. That's the I thing. And I needed a car for the summer. So I bought it so I could use it last summer on the East Coast, uh, thinking it would be cool and... I was so hopeful you were going to get a multiple. That was what he really wanted, but they mm. were a year Which away. Which is also now legal. So when you get rid of that, you need to start looking. No. I'll hook you up with Rami, who got us <laughs> our, our <laughs> espresso cups. W will he import it if I don't spend 12 grand making it? Oh, yeah. No, okay. absolutely. I told him. So what happened with the A-Class was I told him, look, I want this car for the summer. I want it to be here, which was the Hyannis Airport. Perfect. I cannot mm. have it break down. <laughs> I cannot have it break down. Like, it needs to be perfect. And he did that. It was at the Hyannis Airport and perfect. Well, it, it better be perfect for this road trip I'm taking. But I think it's like 1,300 no miles. Duties. So, Rami, your, your reputation is I'll tell you this. Line. I'll tell you this. I only drove it 700 miles. We also tracked it. So, I'm, I'm lightly <laughs> concerned about the damage that that did. The track? No, we've been driven a bunch since then, though. It's fine. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's, it's fine. More or less. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> so this is Kevin at the A-Class. And his incredible experience. And it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Okay, let's discuss some other things. Can we pull up the Q&A? Folks, do you have any questions? Send them to us. I don't know how you do it, but you send them to us. And, okay, Ian M. writes us, what are the odds that Kevin makes it back with the Mercedes intact and alive? Very low. I, I flew here on a Max 9, and so actually <laughs> being in this death. seat is really, really a surprise. Okay, who, let's put numbers on whether we think he makes it back and in the A-Class. Can, can put it, numbers on this? Yeah, like what well, chance percentage. do you think he has? Mm. Yeah, 50, 50. 50, 50. 50. Oh, it's higher than that. Okay. No, I think, I, think you're gonna, I think it's a 90% chance you make it back. Now, I think you'll be miserable and ready to get rid of it <laughs> upon arrival. But <laughs> 1,300 miles is all you need. <laughs> I, I, I wish think, I had yeah. heated seats. Did they do that? I can't imagine. But the heater works. It has the blanks for it. You know? It has the blanks for so it. Maybe, yeah. I'll, maybe, maybe I'll if you got me a Vaughn guard. Uh, yeah, the avant-garde. <laughs> I'm gonna I'll bet you it's for the avant-garde. I'm gonna go to a junkyard and buy the little switches and then figure a way to like. Somebody told me there was oh, in the other one there was avant-garde classic and uh, elegance. elegance. There were three. Did elegance have painted door handles too? I don't listen. My, my <laughs> when I, when Rami went looking for this, I told them what I need is one that doesn't have rust. And what we found was one that does yeah, have it, rust, it but has minimal a lot of rust. Mm. It's bad for Texas. If you took this thing to Vermont, people'd be under like, oh my god, this car's rust free. I, I don't know. Rust doesn't exist where I'm from. It's, it won't get worse. My Passat is from New Jersey, and it's less rusty than this thing. New so. Jersey is the dividing line. Oh, okay, North okay. of New Jersey is Rustville. South of New Jersey, no rust. New Jersey is like kind of the middle yeah. ground. Okay, but me actually getting back, there's going to be an ice storm in Texas on. Sunday, and I will be driving through that. That's so. insane. You can't. It's got ASR, you know? This I'm, is I'm <laughs> fully prepared. Brand new tires and ASR. This is the first time Kevin has ever wished he lived in El Paso. Uh, no, no, no. Well, I have friends in El Paso. Stay with there. them. We'll see. We'll see. I think Call them up. I, I think generally. they might be going through a divorce, so I don't know if I want to be in that house, but. That uh, or death. <laughs> I'll take death. Or I, 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 think, I think death in an A class, you know. Death in an A class is supposed to hang in with a divorced couple in El Paso for a couple nights, yeah. That's, that's a tough one. Um, my th I think he probably will make it back, but I think I have a suspicion. You're going to go up to LA and be like, you know, I'm just going to send, I'm just going to ship it. Hey, my yeah. friends in LA, can you hold on to this? I, for I a spent couple? all my money on this. A Sell class. the S3. <laughs> and then you'll be like, you know, I'm just going to send it back. <laughs> just put it on the credit cards. Yeah, that could, yeah, you yeah. could do that too. Um, okay, so probably he'll make it back, we think. I, I think I'll make it back. I have full confidence in the prep that you've done. So Okay, um, I appreciate that, although I personally don't. Mostly because I haven't even driven it as long as you will need to drive it this week. <laughs> yeah. During my total ownership mm -hmm. history, mm -hmm. I have not driven it as far as you will be driving well, it by Monday. Shakedown. This is the proper shakedown. So, <laughs> I yeah. guess. 
<laughs> and it's truly in that way, you are the second owner. <laughs> he he barely did anything with it. Honestly. You're a very good custodian. I did title it three times though. So like, in a sense, the Carfax is going to be the terrible. Carfax is. Wait, where did you title it? Initially, it was titled in Vermont because uh, the importer titled okay, it in Vermont yeah. to get a title. Mm -hmm. Then I titled it in Montana, just so I could have the title in my name, my company's name. And then I flipped it to Massachusetts, where I actually live. Mm -hmm. And so now it's actually in my name, the and I paid sales tax. The Career GT comes out. No, that's titled in Massachusetts also. Okay. I pay taxes. I'm not like him. What are you I registered all my cars in California. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's my 355, good. I spent that $8,000 on been sales good about it. He's been yeah. good about it. Yeah, I've been very good. About Although, it. As, a, as a friend group, me, him, and our other friends came up with a pack that we will be titling our future yeah. cars in Montana. At least until we decide if we like them. And then we can flip it into California, because doing the Montana thing is sketch. Yeah, generally. I don't do that. I, yes, that is true. I was driving a Ferrari yesterday to drop it off for service. Oh, yeah. Seller is, is, uh, is, is drop, selling one with us, and uh, it has Montana tags on the back, and I'm like, oh, it looks so cool, and I'm driving this Ferrari with this top down, the beautiful sunshine, my sunglasses, and eh, Montana tags. And that it's insane like, oh, exhaust. Dodgy. So it's like, look at me, look at me. Oh, and by the way, look at my Montana plates. <laughs> <laughs> Does like, CHP uh, like, pull you over for that? Um, I don't think they'd pull you over for it, but it would be a sticky but if they, situation. Mm -hmm. Right, or it might be a reason to pull you over. Mm -hmm. But the thing about San Diego and, and California in general is there's so many tram, transplants here. It's mm -hmm. like And military in San and Diego. And military, so like it's not unlike... You see out-of-state plates all, all the, time. the time. It's not like a thing. And Sometimes Montana, you see like, Europe. And but it's funny. When you see a Montana taking on like a normal car, you're like, okay, that person's from, from Montana. Montana. But, you know, you see it on a, an F430, it's like... Or career GT, it would be right. A that guy's sketch. just escaping. Yeah, I, yeah. I see those in Texas, and I'm like, you're escaping six point two five percent. Like, <laughs> really? Well, and also, but Texas you has know? inspection too. Uh, we're getting rid of that. So Texas, Texas, yeah, yeah, freedom. Te yeah, we, we're are you really? Yeah. Uh, so certain counties that. are keeping emissions inspection, but it's just OBD readiness. So, um, and any car over twenty five years is already. Oh really? Right. Yeah. So. Oh, so you're all set with this. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have to do anything. I just, you know. You'll get that nice honeybee license plate and off you go. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the, the elk. I don't know. I, I, I've been, like, spending the entire morning. I was, like, texting my friends on the free Wi-Fi on the plane. Just, Why like, does Texas have a license plate with an elk on it? Oh, it's, I think it's never actually been an elk. acorn sheep. But this oh. is a great Even topic. still. <laughs> the, the, MyPlates.com, the Texas license plates, there's, like, over 100 of them. They're amazing. 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 Texas made the amazing and fantastic decision of prioritizing its specialty, li mm -hmm. of privatizing its specialty mm -hmm. license plates department. Mm -hmm. And so there's a company called MyPlates that just created all these designs. And it's incredible. You can get them to match the color of your car. Mm -hmm. You can get all old Texas plate designs. Mm -hmm. You can get, like, apparently a bighorn sheep, even though yep. there's surely never been a bighorn sheep in Texas. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. There, there was big. a Carl's Jr. one at one point. <laughs> yes. yes. There, like there's corporate. A there was a Dr. Ones? Pepper one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pull it mm -hmm. up. Are you, are you the one linked to this? Uh, yes, pull up the I'll Texas pull. Carl's Jr. license plate. You're going to be astonished. It's, it's truly It impressive. said Mighty Fine on it, which was their slogan at the time. It may still be. And it had a picture of a hamburger. I am dead serious. I thought that was Mighty Burger, which is a... Or is it Carl's Jr.? Mighty... Yeah. Mighty Fine. Mighty, Mighty fine. fine. Mighty Fine. Mighty Fine did it. But, okay, but wow. the good thing about these... There it is, down there, the right below that. <clears throat> the one with the numbers. Yeah, that one. That yeah. one? Yeah. That's still mighty fine. Boom. Well, yeah. it has a burger on it, though, yeah. But they, they have a... Look at that burger. That's great. <laughs> this is some of them, they, they actually donate money to charity. So, like, the, the natural park ones, they, they donate, right. like, half of what you're paying. What charity do you think that the um, Carl's Jr. one uh, went to? Uh, Carl's Jr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. That's a great it, it's, my it's favorite to the, the charity of Carl's Jr., whatever scholarship <laughs> fund that they're running at the moment, you know, hopefully. Right. We'll, we'll see about that, but I, mean, I love no one's probably. auditing. So, okay, <laughs> Ken, <coughs> Kenan, go back to the questions. Let's pitch Kevin some questions for the right. people. <clears throat> um, okay, what do we like? What do we like? <clears throat> Your dream eight car garage that takes like a month to answer. I can't possibly do that. Okay, that's a good one. From Jaden. Doug, what is your favorite car segment to review? SUVs, supercars, etc. I'm going to turn that to Kevin. What is your favorite car segment to watch reviews of? Um, I don't know. I kind of watch them all. I find myself watching like three-row crossover <laughs> reviews and I'm like, why am I wasting my life doing this? Like, I mean, it's good when people like ask me for recommendations, but it's like, you know, Mazda CX-90 or whatever. But you're not like a supercar guy. You like weird. No, no, I like weird stuff. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Those are my I'm favorite ones really to make, I think. Mm -hmm. the, I, like the Subaru XT, 
That Subaru XT that we had. The weird stuff, yeah. The yeah. weird stuff is definitely that like was an insane. Car. What gets me going? Like the the, I remember one of the your early videos was like the first gen Hyundai Equus. Mm -hmm. Like for some reason that stuck in my head. Like that stuff like that. Like that I want to see because you're never gonna see one on the road. Like I will see like living in Texas. I see like. Every single supercar, like right. every day, I can't leave my house without seeing like right. five nine nine two nine elevens. Right, and so, but like, you know, a first gen Equus is legit. Yeah, I will never see one of those. Oh. I want to see what the buttons do. I want to see the shades and like yeah. all the, all all the, the features film. and the cassette recorder. I went to so Dubai to film that video, and I right. filmed four supercars and mm -hmm. that, and that did the best. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but well, it was as interesting. It should, as it I think one was a Luso, didn't you do? Yeah, I did a Luso. I did old, like a uh, a Spada. Which yeah. in itself is a pretty quirky and interesting car, to be totally honest. Yes, yeah, that's, that's cool. the only supercar I think I actually would own. The Espada? Yeah. <laughs> Hell that yeah. pink one. If, if I ever, like, find <laughs> money, that pink Espada. Call Stradman. Hook it up. I was going through, like, my, my dad was showing me, like, old pictures when he went to Europe in, like, the 70s, like, uh, in high school. And he was going through. He said, I remember I saw this cool car. And he was going through, and it was in a spot on Swiss plates. Mm. Oh. In, uh, mm. in Florence is where he saw it. I was like, oh. wow. Imagine being the Swiss person who drove that thing down to Florence in the, oh, man. Yeah, How cool really, that would have been to see in really period. Cool. So yeah. do we think Ferrari took inspiration from the Espada when they created the FF? Probably, or, right? It's, a, it's like the same was, basic concept. I, it's got yes. the glass roof. It's a hatchback. It's there's, a, yeah, there's a lot to it. There. Heinous, they, just they, like the they, will, yeah. they wouldn't say that. They would say they took it from the bread van, of course, the 250 oh, yeah. GTO that was mm. made into this special car. But, you know, I mean, it's made of tomato. <laughs> the spot it was so weird. It also has a glass. The rear is two pieces of glass like a Prius. Mm -hmm. There's like one piece and then there's a second piece that is like upright and it absolutely made no sense at all. And I loved it. It was so cool. And yeah, that was a great car. Yeah, I also... The logo for the a spot it was a sword is a sword mm. like through the uh, and it's on either side of the car. It's they did it differently depending on which side you're looking at. Yep, yeah. that's the right side, and then you can see the left side's right there. Yep, look at that. How cool. Yep, come on, that's legit. Insane car. You're gonna get sued by Net Car for this. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna say you didn't. No, this is commentary. This is commentary <laughs> for use. We're not monetizing this. I don't know. Maybe we are. I have no idea how it all how it all works. Um, okay. Let's comment briefly on the vehicles that are here on the website. Okay. Oh, we missed the PAL. We missed the PAL, missed which the sold Pal. for 5800 bucks. Right. I would rather have an I, I really wish I bought that instead. <laughs> Look know. at that. Guy. I would have saved so much money. <laughs> and I Where was had... this PAL? Where was this PAL? Kenny? Uh, this PAL was located in It was San in Francisco. San Francisco. Oh, uh, it would have been better than San Diego. I'm so sorry. But, <laughs> it would have been uh, a longer drive in a slower car I, I that would, is carbureted. I, I would die driving through Tahoe just to drive that car back. <laughs> like, what is this logo on the front? Was that the logo they all had? It says POW with like, Pow. wings. Like, is it Aston Martin? <laughs> but these were auto only, right? Uh, my S Very Cargo was auto, and I remember it was hard to find sticks. I don't remember. I don't remember. Who cares? Maybe it's, Figaro's it's were stick. I missed my chance. You missed your chance. There will be another one. Mm. These are coming in. You should have yeah. gotten a Figaro. Those are cool. Uh, that's, that's a little too, a little too limp wrist. <laughs> um, like, like I'll go limp wrist, but like. <laughs> but the pow is. But the pow is, is fair game. Because yeah. a lot of those Figaros are pink or like light green or like yeah, light yeah, blue. Yeah. And it is. Yeah. yeah, it's a little on the nose. Like I'll do a pink Espada, but I won't do a pink Figaro. Right, because a pink Espada, like, it's like, all right. Yeah, no, it's, it's what you got. Yeah, specifically yep. that one. These are super cool. Mazda six, Mazda yeah. Speed Six, Mazda Speed Six. So this one is closing right now. Yeah, these are, these cars are cool. I, I miss the glory days of Mazda. Yeah, even though like this is like the Ford era, and everyone's like the Ford era of everything sucks. I kind of disagree with that. This was this was the glory days of Mazda. They mm -hmm. had the Mazda Speed Three. They had the Mazda Speed Six. Both of them were beautiful. Mm -hmm. This was an all-wheel drive car with two hundred seventy-five mm -hmm. horsepower, which was the Evo, but the, in a Mazda. And they did the SUV with the same powertrain. The CX-7. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. This was the glory days of Mazda. Yeah. And yeah. the NC. And the NC. Yeah. <laughs> right. Most people don't think that, but I really like the NC. I learned to drive stick on an NC. The NC is really the only one for that car. Right? Yeah, I fit in an ND. I fit in an ND. I, I don't. An NA is tight. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a little... Mm -hmm. You can fit to do a review, but then you're like, all right, yeah, well... Get me out. I'm, I'm all set. Thanks. The RX-8 was still in production too, right? Yeah, yeah. the RX-8. Oh, those are great. Those, yeah. those truly were great. I know they had issues, but... They're cool. They're, They're so, so cool. And I did so, I so infrequently see them now. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the last time I saw an RX-8. Well, they've all been junk. Well, you know? yeah, I mean, I know. I right. know why. But <laughs> right. <laughs> but <laughs> it was... Uh, you know what the, the sad thing about that is, though? They were amazing cars to drive. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So that smooth rotary powertrain and the steering was amazing. They were, like, really excellent. 
heinous cars. I think one of the ugliest cars. You don't like the rear doors? Those <laughs> little rear doors? Oh, the front gap tooth mouth looking oh, thing. They, they and they then look the, so good. The, the doors screwed up the coupe look. It also replaced maybe the most beautiful Japanese car of all time, the FD. And yeah, the FD is heinous vehicle. Is, is there one of the facelifts? Have you all sold one of the I'm very sure. last, like the R3 edition? Or yeah, whatever? I'm sure we have. I think we've those, sold those. Those I really. Yeah, that 11. That oh, red 11. Yeah, those look those look really good. Yeah, they, cool. you know, like what was end. why were the fenders so big? Why, why did they do that? The front wheel arch. Why was the front wheel arch one twenty? It was Im- absolutely massive. What was going on there? Look at that. It, it's like it looks like that car stops and then goes <laughs> in, and then more car happens behind it. Was it maybe to make that corner like visible to the driver so you can place it? It was to way? make the car look heinous. <laughs> to make it look like a Plymouth Prowler. You like you like the look of this vehicle, not just the driving experience. Have you ever sat in the back of one? Mm-hmm. I, I was much smaller then, but um, <laughs> I, I probably couldn't fit in one now. I these, these were just a stretched in Miata, right? It ba- I mean, that's what it looks like. To yeah, be they shared the same platform. Same platform. Yeah. Did they really? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's Is that good. true? Yes. That's one of the reasons why peop- one of the things people level at the NC, that it wasn't like its own bespoke platform. Mm-hmm. And it was like, that's why they say they don't handle as well. But I don't necessarily. Wait, it wasn't its bespoke platform, but if it shared it with this, that's totally fine. Well, I think that's fine, but mm-hmm. people in the community don't necessarily people agree the with the NC. Can you go back to that Mazda Speed Six? Of course. What is that giant hood sold for thirteen seven fifty? What is that giant hood? What's happening there? That is something. It is <laughs> modified, and that that is outside of my realm of knowledge. <laughs> I can't, can't help you there. Kenan doesn't modify car. He doesn't believe in modifying. No, I'm a preservationist, mm-hmm. deep preservationist. Mm-hmm. But this this car is really modified. But eh, thirteen seven fifty. All right, what's coming up next? All right, the next car on the list that's closing right now, so we have a 1997 Forerunner. Go back to the l- what's closing today. Kevin, so tell us, what, what of these vehicles are you most interested in? These last four. Probably the Contour SVT. Wait, scroll down a little bit. There's a six-wheel with a tank tread, Honda Acti. Mm. Look at that. He's like, I live in Houston. I, I mean, I, I'm all set. The, the <laughs> roads and the flooding, you know, maybe it floats. If it floats, that would be great. This has tank treads. <laughs> yeah. Tank treads. You, you can't actually drive that, can you? Who's you can't. I would drive it. <laughs> it. Did they just put treads around? Oh, yes. Tires. Yes. Oh my That's God. exactly what they did. And in fact, oh some of the God. pictures, it's, it's, it has tires. <laughs> you keep scrolling. <laughs> you can clearly see them. How work. much do these go for the without the modification? Five grand. Five grand. Now with tank treads, who knows? Million dollar car. Interesting. <laughs> Look. Right now, see, right see, now it's at 11 it in fairness, which <laughs> is. Dude, that's undervalued. This thing has tank treads. It's, how much? How much does Hennessy charge for their six by six conversions? <laughs> exactly. That's you know. <laughs> exactly. So you like the Contour, huh? The, the Contour or the uh, Grenadine? I um, drove that Contour. I reviewed it. Mm-hmm. I remember that. It was surprisingly good. These uh, these were just like the normal uh, two point five. Yeah, but it had a little more horsepower. A little bit more. Hey, you, no, no cause worth or anything. Um, no, it was just the Ford Duratec 2.5 V6 and bumped from like 170 mm-hmm. to like 200 horse. Mm-hmm. Which honestly, do you remember these from when we were kids? When was the last time you saw one of these? Uh, one of my friends dated a guy that had one of these when I was in high school. Damn. And, uh, we, we called it the See You Next Tuesday tour. Um, <laughs> and uh, it, was, uh, it was a great car. Lots of memories. Never thought about that. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't work as well with the Mystique. But there was no SV2 Mystique. Um, it's been so. It's been. When did you graduate from high school? Uh, 2015. 15. So yeah. it's been 10 years. Since it, it's been 10 years. On one of these. I, I'm sure it went to the junkyard like right after. They all did. Yeah. No. It was. It was a, a miserable condition car. But like this. This era of Ford performance was so cool. Like the, it was the first really gen cool. Focus SVT. The Focus SVT. Uh, those are so cool. I would love to find one, but they just don't exist. They don't exist. They don't. I wonder exist. what happened to them. There was one that lived near me, and it was the yellow, and someone painted the rear brake drums yellow. <laughs> and uh, I, I just thought that was like to emphasize their drum brakes. Yeah, to emphasize their drum brakes. Yeah, we've know. sold a few because they we just sold the five door, which was really rare. Five door. I don't. They did a five door. I didn't realize they did that. Yeah, I, I, had no I think idea it was only the final that. year. Okay. I mean, you wanted the, the two door. Yeah, but we clear. never got the full RS 
that Europe did, like the full Kazi. Not that gen. Right. No. No. This was the so this was what we got instead. Right. Mm-hmm. Instead of all wheel drive and 250 horsepower, we got front wheel drive and 170 horsepower. <laughs> and then we were also gypped right, on the Volvo platform Focus that's that came after, which was brilliant. Oh, I forgot about that. Yes, we got that ridiculous looking 08, 09 mm-hmm. America only Focus, mm-hmm. which was just this. It was just a facelift. Of this. It was a facelift. Of yeah, this. they didn't want to update the tooling. Yeah, they knew they were going to go bankrupt, or they didn't actually go bankrupt. Hell no. 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 Which is why. Which is why we owe it all to, <laughs> to that 09. <laughs> Focus. The 09 Focus, you know. Um, Have you ever seen that Saline Focus N2O? Click on that one. This was a Saline version, and it was called N2O because, like, nitrous oxide was, like, hot at the time. Mm. And it came with nitrous bottles in the trunk, as I recall. <laughs> and it has really? the worst body kit you have ever seen. Well, but, I, I mean, I that looks cool. There, like, <laughs> there, look at that. Is it actually hooked up? Or is it <laughs> Good question. I think it's just there. Look at it's that N2O. There. It's, it's not even it's in some it, special yeah. font. They chose, like, the basic, <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> they were like, throw whatever you could do. So whatever the look at that sewing machine could do. I love this thing. We've had a couple of them on the site, and I am obsessed with this car. It is so deep 90s tuner. It is so deep like a company thinks it understands 20-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the 20-year-olds back then were doing this stuff. That's exactly own, right. They, so. they did understand the 20-year-olds. I mean, in, in this era of buying things from TikTok ads, you know, right. you're not going to get something this cool. Never. Man, you're never going to cool. get this level of individuality. As I recall, this was a one owner. Oh Two. wow! Well, th- that happened. Two owners. Yes. Yeah. So, like these SEMA cars. Oh man! I guess like you realize that you put eighty grand into a Focus, and then suddenly you have to keep it for the rest of your life. Right. Cause, yep. Because they're actually realizing a loss of that nature is just. That's been the hardest thing about the intake process is convincing sellers that their modifications are not valuable. No, no, no they're not. My, my S three is modified and that's going to heinously decrease the value of it. You, what you ought to do is take off the mods and sell them well, if you kept they're stuff. They're pretty minor. They're pretty minor. Yeah. Like you, you, but we've had people, we have people who spend 50, 60 grand on Hellcats and then they're like, it's worth 40 grand more. And we're like, it's worth maybe less. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or at least the same, maybe mm-hmm. a little more. Yeah. Mods don't add value. But like the, the airs, it's like, it's like when you're looking at a house and someone put air conditioning in the garage. Mm. That's not. Although for Kenan, he'd be like, "Yeah, oh, that'd be yeah. all over." That's that. all I'm looking for. <laughs> That's a serious value add. Do you even need that here? No, no not no, here. No. no, you don't need it here. But Seems. you know, it's a serious value add. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, it, it gets hot in the summer though. Mm-hmm. Depends on what part of town you live in, I guess. Kevin, tell us about your experience with the third gen Toyota 4Runner. Uh, one of my best friends' dad had one growing up. It was the limited. The leather smelled good. I feel like he spent more time in the Sequoia though. Um, and then the whenever gas hit five dollars a gallon, everyone traded those, those are out. Gone. Oh, those are gone. There, I, I can't imagine what people lost on those. It is amazing to me how these are beautiful, f- how common these still are, considering mm-hmm. that the very newest one is over twenty years mm-hmm. old. There That's are twenty five of these in my neighborhood still. Well, they sold a bajillion of them. A bajillion of them, and they are all still running. They only are gone if you crashed it or like just became apathetic. Did these have the same recall as the Tacoma with the frame rot? You know, that's a good question. Probably. They um, must have, right? I, I haven't heard about it on the Forerunner. Yeah, I haven't heard about it on the Forerunner either. Heard We're kind of immune to that Forerunner. stuff in the southern part of the country. People in New yeah. Hampshire are probably writing in right now going, yeah, my Forerunner, I can poke a hole through it. <laughs> well, <laughs> That's not how they talk in New Hampshire. <laughs> no, that's like a prospector in <laughs> Nevada. <laughs> yeah. those, those, those trucks were so bad, though. You've seen those pictures where they're on lifts and like half of the truck is mm-hmm. bent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a tough situation. They're cool. But what you summed up, there, it's exactly right. You knew someone's dad who had yeah, one. Like, that absolutely. was like, they were just around. I them. But, man, they are they're they're great. Yeah, they're, they're going for a crazy amount of, oh, this is a stick shift, too. Four-wheel drive. I think yeah, this is a stick yeah. with, with four-wheel drive. This is yeah. the, the dream one, if you're going to dream about a four-runner. <laughs> yeah. I, I just wish they had more room in them. You know, the, this era, like the, the Jeep Grand Cherokee even was tiny on the it's inside. It's almost wild when you get into these vehicles how bad the packaging mm-hmm. really was in the, the 90s. I don't know where everything went. Mm-mm. But well, the A-Class and this big. are not dramatically different in terms no. of interior space. They are not that big. That's I true. mean, this is probably smaller than a brand new RAV4. But yeah, almost surely. So. Yeah. Although a brand new RAV4 is a pretty big, and now a pretty big Huge. vehicle. Why look at that. Buy those? Look at those cloth seats. Buy this instead of a RAV4. Great pattern. This is a great value. That person wants adaptive cruise control. They mm. don't want to shift gears. They don't want this cloth. They're not 90s cloth guys like us. Which mm. <laughs> you now are with your A-class. Yeah, I've never actually owned a car with cloth interior. Oh, wow. So that Audi 5000 it? has leather? Uh, it's got Alcantara in the middle and then oh my God. leather on the sides. What other cars have you owned? Uh, C30 
an E24 BMW 635 CSI. Damn. Cool. Um, Very cool. I think that's it. So I, I hold on to my cars. So I may actually hold on to the A class for ten years. I think the A class you know. is kind of a combination of the C thirty and the E twenty four six thirty five CSI. Some would say. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> Love a good Doug hot take. <laughs> well, it How has. many edibles did you have before this? <laughs> <laughs> it has the hatchback of the C thirty, but it's not all glass. I know that's really cool. Yeah. The C thirty is like a the C thirty's big mistake was that they made it a two door, which was cool for like enthusiasts, but. D- dramatically well, limited did, the appeal. They did the S40. Yeah. And they did the V50. So, like, if you wanted... But, the, but those weren't cool. You know, like, the C30 was cool with that glass and, like, the way it looked they and all that. They design, too. Like, I, th- I think they look good for, like, a Jetta. Oh, you're talking about the second gen S40 and V50. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. Well, they, I think they had, uh, they had the exterior styling kits for the pre-facelift uh, ones as well. Yeah. Uh, you could get them to, like, paint match it. And I remember like a, when that... A body kit. That S40 came out, I think, in 05. Mm-hmm. And re- it had the... Um, center control stack that you could like reach behind it mm-hmm. yeah, and that yeah. was like oh, you could get people were stunned pull up the wood of the uh, oh yeah the that Volvo. like light oh, that was so good I, I thought about spending a ludicrous amount of money to put this on my c30 but ultimately oh, yeah. um volvo wood water type in volvo s40 Kenan, Kenan's knowledge of well, vehicles. Well, I also have, um, you don't have a lot of fingers. So they did the, they did the, <laughs> <laughs> it's that so one, the one in the upper right. Yeah, the, no, no, the no, not that, wood. not that. No, no, that, that, that was the ugly wood. That was the ugly wood, Kenan. No, no, that one, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 oh. yeah. The Nordic Light Oak. That, the, was, that, that was, was so beautiful, good. That is beautiful, beautiful. 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 That and the fact that you could reach behind it, it was like, oh my God, what of these guys, this is incredible. I put my sunglasses back there, it was great. Hell yeah, It's fantastic. Now, of course, every car has that now. But at the time, it was like this incredible thing that had just covered because you know it was electronic yeah. you didn't actually need the whole space behind it and volvo was like let's just give it to the people it's just a single <laughs> thing so and the people took it <laughs> yeah that's what was, that was in a, the that design was great like what happened to that c30 car. why'd you get rid of that um i got the audi s3 mm. so a dramatic upgrade yeah um, oh yeah oh, it's so pretty that's i, I kind of wish i kept the c30 but it was it was automatic and if, if it was a stick shift i would have kept it you know, um, we sell those um, Polestar ones from time mm, to time. Those are cool. I think the facelift's kind of ugly. Yeah, I prefer yeah, the early the, cartoon. The, the early one with the, the cosmic white over the Java brown. Yes, that, that was, was that the was one. Yeah. Totally. I, uh, Kenan's over here like, I don't know front-wheel drive cars. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> front-wheel drive cars are <laughs> truly great. As someone who owns like five <laughs> yeah. of them. Um, of all, yeah, I guess that's true. I've only owned rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive cars. One all-wheel drive car and everything else has been rear-wheel drive. Do you want the A-class? It's all you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is the pinnacle front wheel drive right there. Pull up the <laughs> questions list. Let's get let's get another question going on here. <clears throat> okay. Integra S or Doug M, a fellow Doug, writes Integra S or Golf R for my final manual transmission. Reviewers seem to prefer the trans on driving feel on the Integra, but the VW seems to win on price and features. Looking to daily. daily yeah, daily in the city, sub 7,000 miles Don't a year. Don't buy a Golf Occasionally R. autocross, but not competitive. I'm, what do you I'm mean? Selling You're the Volkswagen guy. Why would no, no, buy the GTI. The GTI is so much better. It's so much better. It's like 300 pounds lighter. You can feel it in that small of a car. Um, the, the diff does everything you need. And uh, yeah, it's just a better car to drive and you save 15 grand. Also, um, with that said, the Integra Type S is a great car. I mm-hmm. love the Integra Type S. I love how it looks. I love how it drives. I love how it feels. I love that it's like the grown-up Civic Type R. I think it's like an excellent car. I would prefer that to a Golf R. But interesting take on the GTI situation. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, Don Flavius writes, Will Cars and Bids team review Chinese domestic market EVs? And what do they think of the EV dumping allegations on European markets? I'm not going to get into any of that. That's not a thing for us. But let's talk about Chinese domestic market EVs. This is one of Kenan's favorite subjects. Kenan, give us, Kenan and Kevin, actually, give us some of your favorite Chinese domestic market EVs. Go ahead. What's the, is the Han? Was that the Okay, EV you have one. Because yeah. you have a personal experience with it. Yeah, well, that's the <laughs> only one. Give me one, one more. Can you name one other? No, absolutely not. These but are the most popular cars in the world, Kenan. Right. The, well. the Lee X9 is really. Oh, my God. We got one. <laughs> Pull yeah. that up. The oh, right. whatever I, I don't I don't know how to pronounce it. I, I follow that one guy, the Wheel Boy. Oh yes, I love him. He's great. He's so fantastic for bringing those. Um, yeah, there is it the X Ping. X Ping. 
X9 isn't X-Nine. a van. Oh. There is some van that I'm obsessed with. Yeah. I, I can't oh, remember these off the top of my head. There are some great Chinese vans that make that are just incredibly luxurious, mm-hmm. and they have like 58 inch screens in them for that no reason at all. Cool. I'll be honest with yeah. you. That's like a Cybertruck met an Odyssey. <laughs> yeah, it kind of <laughs> is like that. Mm-hmm. That's kind of that's kind of cool. And the one thing you could be sure, assured of is it is trash to drive, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it probably has a 74 inch screen, which totally makes up for it. But if you can't do karaoke in it, then <laughs> and I guarantee here? you could do karaoke in it, exactly. I hope I hope so. <laughs> but you don't drive these, you know. They drive themselves, or you have some a person drive it you. for you. Pull up the interior there, that that interior shine. These are no, the, no, the the, the, the the upper one, oh. for higher up. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's not enough screen. Ooh, what about honorable mention? Like all the uh, American sedans that are still sold in. In China that we with don't their get. with their tooling with their like oh the yeah, old yeah. tooling the, <laughs> still new, going. the, the Mondeo the yep. the Lincoln the the Chevy yeah the, those those were the days mm-hmm. the days of sedans well, they've done really good stuff with those they look shockingly good they still you know? sell a. The, like the Chevy Venture, the minivan. There's a. It's not the same version of it anymore, but there's still a like General Motors minivan in China that like is still sold and still does well. Um, but it's gone here. We have SUVs, mm-hmm. and we haven't embraced the electric future yet. I mean, Kenan will soon. He's getting an EV9. But uh, huh, <laughs> interesting statement. That's not occurring. But all right. the, to answer the question that was asked, no, we will not be reviewing Chinese to market EVs. And it's not out of lack of desire, by the way, because there are some insane ones. And they summon some ones that have ridiculous equipment and technology, but I can't get them here. And if I went to China, I'm not sure what would happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I have said a lot of bad things about the BYD Han. <laughs> no, I, I think they're open to like showing you. Do like, you think they're okay with criticism? Because I've had some comments. Mm-hmm. I've had some conversations with VinFast, which admittedly is oh. not Chinese, where I didn't think they were as open to criticism. Love to I put mean, it mildly. Vinfast is also like a massive accounting fraud. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm waiting to cover that in my day to day podcast. So, uh, interesting, just interesting. For that to like come out. We're waiting for like it to appear. Yeah. Vinfast, I saw it today, is bringing some ridiculous Jeep Wrangler looking SUV. Did you see this thing? Mm. The pickup truck? It's like a little SUV that's like the size of a Jimny, but it's <laughs> electric and it's yellow. Huh. I saw the pickup truck that they released. I'll take a Vinfast pickup truck. I'm down. Um, okay. Uh, Jason writes, does Kevin have an Instagram where we can see his A-class road trip to Texas? I've uh, asked, I've asked Kevin for this. I want to see it. My last name is Stallone's. You can find me. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm private, so I'll, I'll try to remember Jason. I'll let you in. Maybe <laughs> you'll see, you'll else, look at their, you look at each person's profile and decide whether they're yeah, like yeah, worth, worth adding. It would be fun to track pick. your progress with that car. It reminds me of another Instagram account that we love. It's called Brian's Questionable Decisions. He has a Ferrari 308 GTSI uh, and I think a Lotus Esprit, if memory serves me. Really? And a 996 Turbo. Um, but he, he took the 308 and drove it all around mm. like the West and just like went he did like a winter ski trip. He drove it to Alaska. He, yeah, he put Perfect. like crazy wheels and like off road tires and took it to Alaska. Took it to, I think, Dead Horse, Alaska, the most northerly town, I think, in Alaska. Wild stuff they do with this car. And it was so much fun tracking his journey. The A class, admittedly, a little bit less exotic, but it would be cool. No, no, no more exotic. <laughs> there, there are more 308s. That's true. That's Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Especially here in A class. Um, Another question from Don Flavius. Question for the group DLS or DLS Turbo. Which would you take? The answer is Career GT. Kai, Kyle, let's call it, <laughs> writes, does the FX, SF90XX deserve the XX mon- moniker? No, the SF90 is trash. All right. Give, <laughs> give us another one. Yeah, he, I mean, he won't dig. Yeah, he, Doug does not. Um, Doug, you think the only special Ferrari currently produced is the, uh, is the SP3. Oh, the only, SP3. Correct? That's mm-hmm. the only one that you mm-hmm. like. Oh. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Juiced writes, do you see a return of French cars in the USA now that we have Stellantis? No. no. But man, that would be cool. Uh, be I'm cool. really hopeful that we get the Alpine. Oh, yes. You know, I, I would le- over leverage myself to Helen back for one of those. I saw one in London. It looked mm-hmm. so cool. Hard to imagine it comes here. Then again, the Ineos Grenadier came here, so. Yeah, I, I saw one in Texas. They're around. Like, one of my neighbors bought one. Mm-hmm. And I want to be like, so, how's that? Yeah. Because I've heard some things. <laughs> including I reached out to them asking to review one and they said no, <laughs> which that's not a good sign. Just ask think, your neighbor. I think Harry Metcalf <laughs> yeah, recently should. said his friend is like involved with it. And I think like he basically said the kindest thing he could say about it was that it was not finished. Well, the thing but is though, it's trying to be like the, the old defender. defender. Old defender. Yeah, which, and that is know. also not finished, but mm-hmm. that's the charm. Mm-hmm. Right. 
That's this one, we ha- that has nostalgia working in its favor, which adds to that charm. By the way, we have this one it's ending on the site here in 10 minutes. Right. <laughs> right. Currently, it's 75000 Pull up months. that interior. How much do these go for new? Uh, that, I think. That. Do, do you know what engine is in these? It's the B58, right? It's, it's some BMW it's power the BMW B58, right? I think that's right, yeah. Isn't that wild? Mm-hmm. It's great. I mean, that, that kind of tracks, you know, Weissman does the BMW engines. And, oh, yeah, true. You know. And they didn't want to borrow the uh, six liter, the twin turbo V12 from Mercedes like Pagani. Those mm-hmm. are like the two off the shelf engines, apparently, you could I go mean, after. If, if Toyota gave this engine their blessing, you know. Oh, that would be cool. Whoever. But not for 75. That's the part of the problem. Mm. Or 85 or whatever they cost. I mean, you spend 75 grand and then you've got a car for 25 years. Assuming that would be the, cool. the injectors don't go out and the rod bearings stay intact. and right. Timing chain guides, you know, yeah, turbos, yeah, Vanos high pressure line. Oh, wow. We'll just keep going down the list, you know. All the <laughs> Ken's well, I think a lot gotten, of money's gone they've out gotten the door. they rid of a lot of those. They fi- right? Well, you would hope they would figure it out. But even so, on the current generation M3, uh, they did a recall very early on when the car came out for rod bearings. Already. No one. Brand new. And they're like, BMW just can't help themselves. To no really one mess up is looking engine. forward more to electrification of cars than BMW. <laughs> BMW. BMW's <laughs> like, we don't have to make engines anymore. But don't worry. <laughs> this is going to be great. I Truly don't worry. They will find a way. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're it's doing like the... Powertrain unreliable. They're doing the FEV of like the XM and the new M5 is going to be a plug-in. And so people are going to absolutely romp on those engines cold. Yeah. And they're going to pop like cherries. So one of my gym <laughs> has... Uh, uh, an X6M and it's already ticking, oh. and it's it's not DI ticking, it's it's lifter, and I'm like, oh god, yeah, this thing is like new. B- yeah, it is a dis- it is an, a company that makes interesting uh, powertrains, which is why the i7 is going to be great. Yeah, best Kevin, BMW. Can in pull up a picture of the i7? It's beautiful. Find one. I do like. I do actually like luxury the line. Do you really think it's beautiful? Blue. I think they look great. I do too. Like, Nobody else agrees with us. <laughs> when you see them in person, you're like, wow. It has so much presence. It that looks... grill makes it look like you are showing up to fire somebody's dad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. <laughs> clip you really love, but it is true. It uh, is true. Wait, go to a different one. This spec is done. Give me a two-tone one. Give me a dad firing spec. Give me oh. that one. Oh, look oh, at yeah. that. Fired. Not M Sport. I, I think you have to do yeah, two I don't, tone I don't, I hate or M Sport. But the two tone is cool. But the two tone's fantastic. Yeah. That car the, looks the like that car. No one who drives that car will not have had some shady legal dealings mm-hmm. at some point, and you don't want to cross them. <laughs> Which is the whole point of buying a big sedan. Like, right. if you're buying a big sedan, it's because you want to be Al Capone. These so. other automakers. Oh, this one's for sale uh, in Houston, actually. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, yeah sure it's is. like 160 grand. The other automakers have, have tried to tone down the look of their big sedans. <laughs> I think they're like oh, worried amazing. about like the obscene wealth and like the class warfare trends. BMW's like, no, no. turn it up, <laughs> turn it up. <laughs> that's I mean that's what you know we're here for the China chaos. Wants, right, so. it is what China wants, and yeah. you but, know that's also what I think a lot of Americans. I think so deep f- down, especially the kind of people who buy this car, mm-hmm. they actually just want to kind of be like, yep, mm-hmm. PPP. What's wins. it to you? Yeah. PPP loan. It's it's PPP loan people. <laughs> that is exactly right. A lot of PPP money will be the final dollars will be spent yes. on i seven. Yeah, from that angle, it has a lot of Rolls Royce like ghost to it. It does. To me. Yeah. It really has got like very yeah. I, I think the back three quarter looks truly yeah, phenomenal, same. especially when they're in all black. Uh, man. It just it kind of looks that like one, a yeah. locomotive, like from like a steam locomotive or something, in spread, like a weird yeah. way. It's just so like blocky and like in your face about how it doesn't care what you think. It's design, you right? Know, it, like I, I know it's different, and people don't like different, but it's designed. Yeah. Oh, I also yeah. like the new five series, which well, is a really hot take right now. But mm-hmm. I think it look, I think it looks fine. Not amazing, but not yeah, ugly. I, I, I drove it. They sent me one last week. I thought it was amazing. They're like, huge. really good. It's gotten big. It's huge. It's yeah, bad. we looked it up, and the i5 that I reviewed is the same length as the Bengal 7 Series. Doesn't That's hard to me. believe. That's not even all that long ago. It's not like a 7 Series yep. from the 70s or the 80s. No, the Bengal one. Like, the you B- still see them around. E39 uh, chassis dimensions are the same. Or the wheelbase is the same as the previous generation, 3 Series. Like, mm-hmm. it's the F30. So, it's like, Damn. It's, stuff's changed. You know? But there are now smaller cars. There are, yeah. It's given there BMW room to show up with the 1 Series and the X2, which is a car we I think we all agree is fantastic. It, actually, I kind of like the new X2. What do you like about it? The multiple BMW badges on the back? Yeah. I think that's cool. The new one. The, the, oh, the, the new one. The new one does look nice. The new one looks decent. Yeah. The the 3.0 uh, CS. CSL, yeah, mm-hmm. inspired. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that I ridiculous like that. thing. Um, Kenan, pull up another question. Give me something good. All right, hold on. 
just make sure there's all. Let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Thoughts on M2 competition values over M2 values long term with electrification. I don't know over M2 values, but I think M2 comp will hold its value quite well because I think this is the end of the line. Yeah, I, I tend to think the same. And I also think the previous generation M2 competition will do quite well uh, long term. Once the electrification comes, those are like the last like fun, small, powerful BMWs, like reminiscent of the E46 M3. Yeah. And I think after this, it's, you know, it's pretty over. And you yeah. get it with a manual, critically. Get it with a manual. Get them with a manual. This is the end. I think all those cars are going to hold their value pretty the real well because it's kind of the end. And they're not... They're still kind of rare, like regular M2s. 2017 M2s, we well, sell for like decent money still. The That's right one to have, if you're looking for like collectability, the M2CS is the one yeah. you want. Yeah. But, but they're expensive. money. Under, yeah, they're oh. a lot of money though. What does a regular 17 M2 go for? Well, they're also only going to get more rare because people yeah. wreck yeah. these left and, and right. And they'll have engine yeah. problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> Pull, go to lowest price. I'm curious. Oh, this is a fun. So one. the cheapest we ever sold, and this was we sold in one January for thirty last year. We sold for thirty. Oh, how many miles are on that? It's I a stick. It must have had an accident. Eighty-five thousand. How many miles. did it? Have, was it hit? Uh, Go down. No, no accidents no. or miles. What are we doing? We should have bought this. The California yeah, car we were from sleeping. new. We all should have bought this. I would have mm. bought this. <laughs> Go back. I love how they put this very special engine in the X4 M40i, the very first M light car. They right. put like. A proper, right. well, maybe not totally proper M engine, but like a very special engine in that car. Yeah, and then it's yeah. gone downhill from there. <laughs> Man, so these are these are like still mid thirties. That's still a decent amount of money given this car's seven years old. What was it sticker? Fifty, low fifties, more, Some, probably something, 60, to, that, something to that effect. But yeah, that's I think all these cars will hold the value pretty mm -hmm. well. These, especially the stick ones, and yes, like you said, people are going to crash them. There's going to be that's a Monroni, but that one was fifty five, eight ninety five. Allegedly, oh. base of fifty two five, so damn fifty two yeah. five. It's a lot of car. Very cool car. Mm -hmm. you know. Love them. Yep. Um, Love them. Drive them. What cars? Riley asks. What cars other than the R thirty four are now legal to import in twenty four? Kevin, tell us what you'd import if it wasn't that you bought this A class. Oh, uh, so I've actually been thinking about it because I have family in the south of France, and I, I keep. I'm waiting for them to finish the garage before I like stock something in there. <laughs> uh, but the Alpha Spider that has the the round headlight holes in the hood, um, I think those are quite ugly but quite cute. Yes, this yeah. one. I, those th I think those are now legal to import this I year. I feel like, or maybe well, they we were sell last coops? year. We sold a coupe before. Maybe we sold the Spider. Was maybe it, it was in Canada. I don't remember. I but think yeah, it was a Canadian car. Because yeah. I, I nearly bid on that one. Or maybe I. He types an Alfa Romeo Spider. Um, that uh, one, eighty yeah, yeah, nine hundred. Yeah. Where where oh, was? What is U.S. title? Oh, okay. Well, they're older than I thought. Oh, that's deeply illegal. Where's that? That must be in Canada. That is the one that I actually want. But the, yeah. the one before Canada. that. Um, go back. Go back one, Kenan, to the to the green one that's right there. The ninety six green one. Yeah. Yeah. That, that this, bad boy. This is what. Some I've interesting been modifications on this particular one, but uh, it's totally. But it's cool. <laughs> I don't know if I would have written Alfa Romeo on the door myself. Maybe These are not. cool. It's probably a this is very here. cool. This Man, one's that, right that uh, I'm just picturing your like your driveway. So you that <laughs> in A class. They're so European. Yeah, yeah. So, so European. European. Um, Audi A2 is legal now. That car is interesting. You know what has? You know what's becoming more legal by the day is the Mercedes C43 wagon, mm. which I should have bought. That the the, the late 90s one. It, it came out in 98, so they've been legal for a year. But like more of them are becoming legal. You have to type in, though, the old one. You have to type in 99. Because mm -hmm. there was a new C43 wagon, which, which is a, fine. A but couple of those have made it in the States, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very questionably, but yes. Yeah, and I think some of them have had to leave. Yeah. Right? Um, <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Oh, V8. That car is so cool. I want wow. that car. They're but my A-Class experience has taught me I don't actually want this car. <laughs> I will look at it. Maybe I'll get a model. I think this would be like much better than the A-Class. <laughs> Probably, um, yeah. yeah. Every single way. You have to wait till an automobile, that company that makes obscure European cars. Wait till they come out with a model. You know what I'll do? I will buy coffee cups. <laughs> my espresso <laughs> tea cups of the C43 wagon. And that will be my solution instead. Yeah, that's cool. Though. If you could import any car, Kevin, what would you bring? Uh... The, I mean, the, the Alpha. That's, that would be I, the one of yeah, all the cars? All the, I, it was, I was actually like looking very, very seriously at those. Um, either the spider or the coupe. Kenan, tell them the correct answer. Uh, uh, um, the problem is, 
I don't I don't know. There there are quite a few interesting cars. I mean, like Zonda F Roadster comes okay, to well, mind. Jesus maybe, Christ, you know? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I didn't think we'd be in the five million game. game. No. I was, but okay, fine. Probably Zonda 10 million, F. Really, I don't have a Montana LLC. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay, give me like a normal car. What's normal the correct answer? Import? We know what it is. If you can import any car, it doesn't have to be legal yet. Any car. I don't know because I I still think that the multiple would be cool, but I know it's Ugh, I think the correct was, answer is the E sixty one M5. Oh, E sixty one M five. Yeah, E sixty V ten wagon station wagon. My yes, yeah, that would be. I cool. I'd have the S six or RS six. That, that would also era. be cool, yeah, but yeah. I think the M five would be in part cooler because you would be like, yeah, it is unreliable, but I'm doing it. What's it to you? Can't wait. Uh, Chris Harris just bought one. I'm curious. A I'm, wagon? Yeah, E sixty one M five. So Chris I'm, Harris beats I, me to everything. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that's a really smart buy. You know? Yeah, it's is it's it a cool. stick? No, they didn't, they didn't offer they didn't that. No sticks were offered. M fives were offered in Europe. Oh sticks. right, we'd have to swap. It was just us. So, but luckily, we know someone, so you know it could be done. We got a buddy who could do that swap. One mm-hmm. of my friends, uh, it's like his specialty, his company specialty. I do E sixty M five convert manual conversion. Do you think he could do it any O's Grenadier stick swap? Probably not. But it's a BMW. He, he wouldn't know what this is. Like he, <laughs> he wouldn't even know. He only focuses on like E39 and E60 M5s. He would not know what this car is. Well, y'all have a F30, F31 wagon coming up that's been manual swapped. Um, I think it's like next week. Yeah, that one. Yeah. The bronze one. Um, I was surprised to see this because they did it right. They like didn't make mm-hmm. it stupid. They just swapped the trans and kind of left the rest of the car alone. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yeah. So they put the E39 wheels on it, right? Yeah, those do look like style, style 42. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple little other mods, but like a mm-hmm. lot of times when people do a trans swap, you yeah, end up yeah. with like an awful, horrible build that's just build. a disaster. It's yeah. a normal wheels and they're good. This yeah. person's doing this car a favor by getting it out of Michigan. But they did uh, the F30 <laughs> with the B58 stick shift and X drive. So I. F- well, uh, the sedan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, sedan. yeah. So yeah. you could. Theoretically, just find one of those and take the transmission and put it. You in could the do. Ineos. They did it with all-wheel drive and a stick. I didn't mm-hmm. realize that. Is that what this is? Yes. Damn. Yes, yeah. We this is a car. Stick. Mm-hmm. What is this going to sell for? It's no reserve. We it have should no idea. go for a lot. It's it's had the N twenty issues taken care of. It's a decent spec. How do you how are you such a BMW enthusiast? But you have all these. Volkswagen. So I, I research BMWs and I think am <laughs> I going to buy it? And then I'm like, ah, no, no, no. That's no, because no, no, when no, you no. research BMWs, yeah. what you do end up doing is not buying BMWs. If you learn too much about BMWs, you do not purchase. Yeah. Them. You either find them endearing, like I do, or you're like, hell yeah. no. <laughs> my my friends have them, and I get to ride in them, and I get to break their cup holders. Um, <laughs> And my function, thank you very much. We kind of came to the, came to the decision long. that the only M- it's, engine... I've, I've had that car for eight years. They're perfect. I don't ever use them. That's why they Don't work. let me in that car. We <laughs> came to the decision the only M engine that was ever reliable was the E36 M3's S52. Mm. Those don't have a lot of significant problems. Now, it's also like the weakest... It's the only four-cylinder M engine, right? Well, that was the six-cylinder that was the E36. Actually, and those oh, are very E36, expensive okay. to service, yeah. S14s are tough, yeah, because they need rebuilds. People do rebuilds. Mm. Yeah. S52s run forever. Yeah, yeah, I had one on my E36 M3. The engine was definitely not the problem. How, what's our cheapest E36 M3 sale? That's a great question. Um, I which, can't believe we're making him do the typing. He's got two fingers. I know. Yeah. Um, let's see. So the lowest price one. Oh, E3, Don't do, do you got to type in M3. And even then, you kind of have to type in BMW M3. No, I know. What, um, what tip cab have we sold? What tip 6,200. Oh, that was a speed. stick. How many miles did that car have on it? 237. 237. But a that's, moon but car. Still. That, right. That's yep. a moon car. That is proof, though, of the S52's capability right There's there. There's a lot of these with a lot of miles. I'm stunned by it. But yeah. people buy them to drive, and they drive them. Let mine, me tell you something. You know what you don't see with a lot of miles? E60 M5. <laughs> yep. I think mine had 238 on it when I sold my E36 mm-hmm. M3. His M5 has like 200 something. It's gonna, it's when I drive it out of here, when I leave the office, it will crack over 232,000. The A class you'll get there yeah i've got if a you believe it go <laughs> it's at 100,000 kilometers so you need to get to 400,000 kilometers I, i'm gonna need to put w221 seats in that to make it that far and get a commute that would help too yeah no i uh, i will not be getting a commute anytime soon right so you're really screwed unless i'm fired for being on this but you know <laughs> um okay should we do one more question yeah okay um Kenan, go up. Find a good question. Kevin, you pick a question. What do you like? Oh, there was one about Jeffree Star. <laughs> oh, God. Don't do that one. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll not do that one. Um, I don't know. Pick one of these. There's some good questions. Oh, South Africa. That sounds interesting. Okay, what does it say? Um, like you mentioned you went to South Africa a few years back. What did you think of the country and the car culture? Have you been? 
I have. You have. have you I spent a lot of time in South Africa. Uh, not yet, no. Okay, give us your take on South Africa having not been. Well, they, they did all those like crazy BMW special editions. What was yeah, that about? E33, 33. What was that about? Why did that happen? There was BMW produced cars yeah. there. And so I felt that they had to re- reward people <laughs> reward the country. Um, but yeah, they made a number of them. And they that made one a special was edition. They had stuff in it mm-hmm. too. It was very odd. They made Land Rover Defenders expensive. there. Didn't. Wasn't it like Lambo or Ferrari that built cars there at some point? Or maybe it was just it BMW. It wasn't Ferrari, or I'll tell you that. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> built something unusual confident. in South Africa. I'll get back to you on this. I will not get back to the viewers. There's your homework. Bring that for next week because I don't <laughs> think you're right. <laughs> you don't understand. The 348 had its South Africa production run. They, oh, yeah. The, <laughs> the South African spec 348. You don't, the Kia Elon was a thing, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. The answer to this question is I went to South Africa. I went to Johannesburg. It was... A little scary, mm. to put it mildly. Well, Johannesburg is a scary. Yeah. I went there on the the launch of the nine nine one point two nine eleven. Why okay, did they launch that there? I don't know. And why not Ooh. Cape Town? And they only yeah, invited three journalists, <laughs> or four. Very special to get that invitation. Right. They were hoping you'd end up, you know, in, in <laughs> I was, someone's trunk. I was like the probably the fourteenth request. <laughs> Everybody else said no. I'm not going to fly to South Africa to review the slightly facelifted nine <laughs> eleven. And we drove it on that racetrack, the Kailami. Kailami, mm-hmm. yep. Going which, back to the Formula One circuit. Which, or, forget about the rest of the South Africa stuff. Here's a crazy Kailami thing for you. This was a Formula One track in the 70s, mm-hmm. and then there was an incident with a fire extinguisher. But the, the um, track car that they used as their, like, around the paddock vehicle was a Chevy Astro that had been what? painted in Kailami livery with like a light bar on top and that was what they were driving when I went there in 2017. <laughs> Has to be with, I wonder, I'll bet for the F1 race like when Formula 1 does go back because they're supposed to it'll be different but <laughs> that's going to be somewhere. F1 is going to go back to that track? Yeah they said they're going back to South Africa. I don't remember what year but they are, it is like a plan to go back to South Damn. Africa. Damn. I've been on Miami was a bust. We're going to go back. We're done with Miami. Yeah. We're going to go back to Johannesburg. <laughs> it's been better there. Yeah. Um, no, it was I, a little bit scary, and it was especially scary because we got lost in the 991. And but it turns out in South Africa, you, you can bribe anybody with anything. It was wild. Yeah. So like, we went up to a toll booth, and we had no South African money, so we gave them the road safety vest from the 991, that like the Porsche road <laughs> safety vest, and they took it and they let us keep going. <laughs> yeah, I, I did love that part of South Africa. I, I found the car culture there was was pretty great. I, mm-hmm. I now I was in. I spent a lot of time. I spent time in in Cape Town, then also in Durban, in northern South Africa. I found that. Um, it was, I mean, off-roading is the, is the big thing I spent right. a lot of time with. Some crazy built 70s series, which were cool. Right. But also there are cool cars that are tucked away. Uh, the Franschik Motor Museum uh, in, in Cape Town is unbelievably cool. Uh, Johannes Rupert, who uh, is a very rich guy, has just insane cars. And he, the Ferrari one was, was, the, was the best. He had the like 250 short wheelbase, like F, F, uh, 288, F40, F50, Enzo. Like Just to cool. see all these cars in South Africa was like... Wow, you can't drive in South Africa. No, but there and they're also they're they're hidden they're hidden gems there. South Africa has this the rule: they're a right-hand drive country. They have this rule that you can't even drive a left-hand drive. Car. But you can, br- yeah. So the Enzo was only made in left-hand drive. I so think he got a, he got a pass. His son, I he think, got a pass. His son he bribed somebody. He probably yeah, yeah. gave them a road safety vest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a very nice one. <laughs> His son crashed the car like uh, oh in boy. like the hills above where they live and like had to have that service. That was a whole nightmare. But it, I found the South African car culture to be really cool and um, a lot of great European cars and lots of stuff you don't. See, although I did see a Ford probe driving mm-hmm. around. They sold Ford probes in Europe. I bet they sold them in South Africa. Mm-hmm. Just, but I don't even see them here anymore. That like car, they gave wild. it the 24 valve, the Duratec V6. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Legit. All gone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just gone. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was but our live for today. We had Kevin. Kevin, I salute you. Cheers. Thank I appreciate you for this your, opportunity. I appreciate it's, it's truly you. a pleasure. Well, I thank you for taking the A class away from me. We're all grateful, like I said. We don't have to hear him talk about it anymore. This, this is that opportunity to own this beautiful, magnificent, <laughs> you know, one-of-a-kind car. It's, it's truly the greatest automobile to ever be made, only because I now own it and am trying to get rid of it Will you already. send pictures from your road trip? I, I will send you photos, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And if you break down, lose my number. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. everyone. Bye.